The second aspect or, or uh, feature or function of our panels is the expanded polystyrene. There's a few different reasons we use expanded polystyrene. One is, while you think of the alternatives, there's, there's the, the various two-part systems, the spray foams, the polyurethanes, and there are companies that make panels out of, the, out of <coughs> polyurethane and, and ISO. What we have found is that our value per inch is better with those spray foams. It's about six per inch, and Joe always gets on me because he puts a bunch of decimal points behind this. But I'm going to say it's about six per inch when it's the spray foam, whereas it's about four per inch with expanded polystyrene. But the, our value per dollar is about the same. So now you're talking about having a six inch panel for a wall versus a four inch panel of, of the spray foam variety. So why not go with that? Why not have a thinner wall? The advantages of of expanded polystyrene are numerous, and, and the, the big one is the adhesion to the panel. We buy our expanded polystyrene, as you can see, in three by four by 16 foot chunks, and then it gets cut to the size that we need. That, that edge that we have, that surface that we have that we can glue our panel to now is completely controllable. With the, with the spray foam, the two-part systems, they jig up the the OSB on the top and bottom and they inject it. Now the challenge with that is having exactly the right amount that it expands and doesn't leave any voids because now the adhesion to the panel is the foam pu pushing up against the panel. So if you end up with a bubble in there, there's no adhesion in that spot. If you put too much foam in, it actually creates a wave in the panel. And a lot of the contractors that I've talked to, I I'll, full disclosure, I've never built with with polyurethane panels. But I've talked to a lot of builders that have switched over, and when I ask them why, that's the biggest complaint, is the wave in the panel. They said, we can't get away from seeing that wave, and we'll see it in the roof, we'll see it in our soffits, and so they've gotten away from using the poly panels. Do they work? Are they good? Are they effective? Is it better than stick building? Absolutely. Um, I'm not gonna rip on their product. It, it makes an effective house. We find that the advantages of expanded polystyrene over, uh, outweigh the disadvantages. Another advantage to polystyrene is the effect that it has on our workers, on you, on the homeowner. Uh, this is a safety data sheet from expanded polystyrene. It's really a cool sales tool <laughs> because most safety data sheets are going to tell you if you use this product you're likely going to die. I mean it goes through all of the things that you know are, are the disadvantages of this. In, in fact, we have a can of spray foam here that we send out, and when you look at the, the warnings on this, it basically tells you that. that This is just great stuff, and this is what the other panels are made of, and it tells you about ventilation, and don't get this on your skin, and it can cause all kinds of uh, various issues. Whereas expanded polystyrene, now th this is government regulated. They have to be honest. They have to be upfront about this. And when it says hazard classification, none. Signal word, that's where it usually says danger or warning. Those are the two signal words, none. Hazard statement, none. Other hazards, low toxicity under normal conditions of handling and use. So we're going to tour um, benchmark foam. It's just across the interstate. We're gonna, one of the things that we're going to do is, is all of us take the tour of the, of the plant. You will notice, now I haven't been in there since COVID started, but before that, nobody in the plant's wearing a mask. They're working with expanded polystyrene. They're cutting expanded polystyrene. They're, they're, they're expanding it. They're doing all of this from the, the little salt beads before it's expanded to all the way through the finished product, and nobody's wearing a mask except the guy in the spray booth that's, that's making signs because there's no known hazard. This is completely inert when it goes out to the job site. Now, that matters to you if you're going to be working with it, but how much does that matter to your customer? Uh, is that something that's important to them? So this is something you can share with them as the advantage of, or one of the advantages of expanded polystyrene. The other aspect of expanded polystyrene, and Joe gets on me if I say it has any structural capabilities because it doesn't, it's not, it's not structural, but it's predictable. 
expanded polystyrene, when we cut it into our chunks and we glue everything together, we know exactly how it's going to function. So we can come up with our span charts and show you what you need to do to have a 24 foot span because we know exactly how that sandwich is going to work. And the expanded polystyrene helps us in that aspect. Uh, to, to, to be able to get to these span charts that are completely accurate and fully engineered.